Welcome back you guys, I'm Mimi FC, this is Ryan CV, and welcome to the player ratings video after that big, massive win against Tottenham last night. Now we all know that it's always going to be blue in London, it's just how it is, it's always been like that. Since I've been a kid, I've only seen us collect W's over Tottenham, and I'm happy that with the younger guys and the younger generation, well that's a culture and a custom that these guys already know. Now, before I continue on with today's video, I did want to quickly let you guys know that if you are considering buying any Club Megastore gear, you'll find links below in the description. I do have the affiliate links, so if you're planning on buying anything for yourself, as gifts for people, etc, etc, I'd really appreciate it if you did consider using my affiliate links. And you guys, of course, one more thing. If you like today's video, smash that like button and help me get over 1,500 likes for today's video. Now, we start with things and you know what? I'm going to do things a little bit differently. I'm going to start off by giving my score and rating to Frank Lampard because I think last night I saw perfection from Lampard. The system, the tactics, the execution of the game plan, it was all flawless. Lampard got absolutely nothing wrong. The lineup worked perfectly. The game plan was excellent and there was massive pressure riding on Frank because of course we haven't been on a great run recently. A massive London derby game against Spurs managed by your ex-mental Mourinho. There was a lot more riding on this game and honestly there's nothing that I can really criticise Lampard about. Last night you know Lampard made me realise that there's so much more to football that we can all learn and understand. So for that reason Lampard is going to score a 10 out of 10. Now we move on to Kepa and goal and to be honest Kepa was barely tested in yesterday's game. Now the positive thing was we didn't see any individual mistakes from Kepa which we tend to see in every single game now. I thought Kepa was very vocal, I thought his passing range was much more accurate in yesterday's game and I thought he looked a lot more confident. So for that reason Kepa is going to score a 7 out of 10. Now I'll do things a little bit differently for the defence. I am going to score all these guys together because they will get the same player rating score at the end and honestly you guys as I said in the review this was black excellence at its finest defensively. You guys these guys really complement each other and it makes so much sense. Every single one of these defenders is used to playing in a back three system. Zuma and Rudiger under Conte and of course Tomori under Lampard and under Morris. But it was how they worked in tandem which really just elevated their performances. With Tomori down that left hand side, his task was to really help support Marcus Alonso and he was tasked with helping to step up from his defensive line to close down opposition players. With Kurt Zuma, his game was to cover everything, win every aerial ball and of course at times break the lines to close down any spare Spurs players that he sees ahead. And with Rudiger, his game was to cover both centre backs which he did very very well. These guys were so good and so dominant that it really makes you strongly consider that whenever we play against big opposition teams, could using a back three system be the go-to system to use? Potentially. You guys, all three centre backs will score 7.5 out of 10. Now we move on to the wing backs, starting with Marcus Alonso. Now I'm going to say it straight, this was Alonso's best game. He made a small, small error which was covered by Tomori, but I'm not really going to hold that against him. You know, in yesterday's game, Alonso had a big responsibility. He had to help support the player in the final third. His passing had to be clean and crisp. You know, defensively he was very good and it kind of makes a lot of sense. With Marcus Alonso being a very slow defender that prefers to use his body to win the ball back instead of using his feet, when he has defensive support in front of him and behind him, well of course he's going to feel even more confident. Regardless of all of that though, Alonso was very good. We needed him yesterday and he came through. He is going to score a 7.5 out of 10. And to end things with the back five, we move on to Aspilicueta. Now the only thing I'll say about Aspi, I'll get the negative out of the way straight away but it's his pass completion. To have about like what 60% in yesterday's game, it's not accurate enough and you can see why teams have tended to target him a lot this season. Regardless though, with how the team worked so well in tandem and how cohesive everyone was, Aspi did play a part. He played that support role down that right hand side where he was tasked with making those late man runs to really help stretch Spurs' defensive line. He did that very well. But most impressively, it was his 1v1 defending. He came out on top about 80% of the time. 
Very good, very confident. Aspie is going to score a 7 out of 10. Now we move on to midfield and I'll be doing the same thing that I did for our back three with Kova and Kante. I thought both these guys were very good yesterday. Um, the way they just complement each other's game. This is what impresses me the most. They forever complement. If you look at the stats right after a game, you know, defensively and offensively, these two are very similar. Now that Kova is playing in his best position, He's showing ridiculous form and there's a massive possibility that he is going to become a world-class midfield player. And what I like the most is just how their partnership is starting to blossom. Kante can now take more license to push forward to help support the attack, knowing that cover is good defensively and he can stay behind to allow Kante to go further forward. And when you mix that in with their work rate, their interceptions, their tackles, and most importantly, their press resistance. Every single game now, I'm seeing that Kova and Kante are completing similar dribbling stats and you can see why. The way that these runs help start attacks and create things time and time again, you know, these two in the pivot together, they never get dispossessed. It's a great asset to have in the team. For that reason, Kante and Kova will score a 7.5 out of 10. Now, we move on to the attack and I'll be starting with the man of the match last night and that's William. Now, later on in the Talking Points video, I will be talking about how Lampard has helped revive William for this season, and I hope that you guys obviously watch that video later on. I thought this was an absolute classic from William last night, by far one of his best games he's ever played for us. Yesterday's game, he had five key passes. That's how many he made creatively, offensively, the intensity. Incredible performance by William. And to add the goals on top of things as well, Honestly, he deserves so much respect. I really feel like all the negativity surrounding William needs to stop now because it's quite obvious that now he's being used in his best position in a system that gets the best out of him, we're seeing a completely different player. So I don't understand why, you know, William's being held to the same standards for like previous seasons when he's clearly moved past that and is on completely different form. For that reason, William is going to score a 9 out of 10. Now we move on to the second best player in yesterday's game and for me that was Mason Mount. Now the role that William and Mason Mount had to play had a lot of responsibility because if these guys were poor with their use of the ball in the final third, if they weren't effective at linking up with people in the final third or helping you know bring people into the game, well that would have really affected how we broke Spurs down in the final third. You know, if these guys are losing the ball, it means that the wing backs can't come forward. If they don't go forwards, we're not creating. Now, I do want to tell you, I will be talking about how the 3-4-3 works so spectacularly in yesterday's game later on in today's Talking Points video, so you guys can't afford to miss out on that. But Mason's ability to make runs in behind, his intelligence, his willingness to work for the team, the quality he possesses playing in very tight areas as well, you know, the movement. And for me, he deserved a goal yesterday, he really did. It's a shame that that pass wasn't made to him and it's quite frustrating, but you know, I'm really plugging the Talking Points video. I'll be speaking about Mason Mount in even greater detail. I feel like he's been misunderstood for so long now and it's about time that I say something about it. For that reason, Mason Mount is gonna score an eight out of 10. And to complete things with the first team, we move on to Tammy Abraham up front. And one thing that I absolutely love about Tammy is, is that if he doesn't get a goal in a game, that doesn't mean that his involvement becomes zero. You know, Tammy Abraham provides so much for this team. He provides so many outlets and possibilities and different ways to break down teams with his willingness to make runs non-stop. I mean, physically, he was up against Alderweireld and up against Vertonghen and, you know, he had so many aerial balls he was attempting. I think it was like 11. So to win about 50 to 60% of them against two very experienced, tough PL defenders like those two, is very impressive to see. And it's stuff like this, you know, I'm seeing a lot of improvement in Tammy's game. As the season's going on, I'm seeing Tammy getting more and more effective in all aspects of his game. It's great to see. It's unlucky that he was not able to get a goal. Um, as he gets better, as he improves even more, you know, a lot of times he gets the opportunity to get the first shot on goal. And most times he's not always scoring that. But the amazing thing is, is that he's in these positions. So that tells us as fans is that with time and patience, these moments are one day going to turn into goals. And pff, incredible player, absolutely incredible. Tammy Abraham fought for the team. He worked for the team. 
the link-up play, how he worked alongside William and Mason Mount. These guys were key in helping us beat Tottenham. Tammy Abraham will score a 7 out of 10. Now to end things with the substitutes before I wrap up today's video, uh, I'm going to be very quick. Now with Reese James, he didn't play too much, so he'll get a standard 6 out of 10. When it comes to Mitchie as well, he'll get another standard 6 out of 10. I'll be honest, I'd like to score him even less because I do not like that play at the end where he takes a shot from a very hard angle. When Mason Mount was in a better position, demining the ball, that could have potentially got us a third goal. You know, at times when Mitchie comes on, you can't be playing with your head down non-stop, just looking to play for yourself, the stat pads, you know, you've got all but You know, it's things like this that's stopping you from being a first-team striker. But the reality is, he didn't play as much, so I can't really use that against him. And of course, when it comes to Jorginho, and of course, when it comes to Jorginho, he'll get another 6 out of 10. And that's not because he was bad, but the reality is, you know, when he came on, Spurs were down to 10 men. It was very easy from that point, and really, the game was more like a training game once Son went off. So for that reason, he is going to get a 6 out of 10 as well. And guys, on that note, I'm going to wrap things up and keep things the hell moving. Um, incredible win yesterday. I'm glad that all you guys seem to enjoy the videos as well. You know, thank you for contributing in the comment section and just being so involved all the time with this channel. You know, it's a real big help, you guys. And, you know, it's really humbling as well. So I really appreciate that. And on that note... I'm gonna wrap things up and keep things moving because I have a Talking Points video to finish so I can get it out for you guys today. It's literally content, content, content today, you guys. So I hope you enjoy. I'm gonna wrap things up. I'm in the FC. This is Blue Lines CV. See you guys in a bit.